All right, hey guys, back with some 2324 Phoenix. I have got some blaster boxes today. I did the Megas yesterday and did okay, but they are cool cards. Um, I actually found these on the shelves, amazingly, at uh, Target. So, happy to have grabbed three of these. Uh, what we're looking for, it says you get uh, four exclusives, big hits, ultra rare genies, and Metropolis. Let's hopefully see a genie today. Debut edition mean probably they didn't make blasters before or they changed something and uh, autographs numbered cards all that let's dive in I'll be honest with you. It's pretty late here in Florida. I had a long day, but I Haven't had a ton of free time lately. So I got to squeeze it in and I committed to myself to open these today. So got to do it Hopefully I can keep you guys awake here. But I'm excited. I was excited to actually find something new on the shelves. Pay retail price. Here we go. Phoenix retail. I was entirely not expecting to find anything when I went in the other day. And I found... Oops. That's actually a pretty decent little variation there. First pack. Not numbered. Um, the refractor, but it has got the hieroglyphics, uh, lasers. That's what I meant. There's some cool possibilities in these cards. Uh, but I found the blasters and I found the mega boxes at another store. So Jordan Hawkins. Nice. And we got... Sadiq on the next. Oh, wow. So, whoa. Whoa, everybody. Whoa. Wow, did that sneak up on me. I haven't been opening much basketball lately, so uh, my usual Wemby senses are not the same. This is a Paragon with the lasers on it. Oh, it's numbered. Oh, my gosh. Wow, guys, 150. That's a pretty big card. Awesome. I am so stoked about that. And I have, I was worried. I watched people open blasters and say that they did not do well. A few people. Like, oh, you got to buy mega boxes. But I'm here to show you there is possibilities in these babies. And this, I would consider this probably like first batch. You know, a lot of people think that Jalen Wilson, that uh, the first batch of stuff is always a little better, a little more loaded. Utah. Cool cards though, I like those. I think I'm just a sucker for anything with the downtown lasers on it. And Podzimski on the fade to black. I see those downtown lasers, I get excited. I don't want to jinx myself. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but I pull either I'm lucky with Wemby's or five cards in this one, or Wemby is just stuffed in products, but I pull a lot of Wemby cards and I'm incredibly grateful for that. Tim Hardaway. Uh, when I did the mega boxes, Pretty much the highlight was uh, was a Wemby, more of a base card, a fade to black. Maxwell Lewis. Got that one five card pack there. So there's a Paragon without the lasers on it to give you a little comparison. And it's white. I'm assuming that's just team match, but but it's got the lasers. All right, so hey, first box. As far as I'm concerned, my work is done here. This is awesome. I have to decide what to do with that Wemby. Because I do have a pretty big Wemby collection. But it's mostly like cheaper stuff. Because um, if I have, I just don't have a ton of money to sit on expensive cards all the time. So. 
sometimes I do sell them, but I really like a good Wemby card. It's a tough call. That's just a clean looking card. Terry Eason. Clean Wemby. Another one. So there, that is the just base of base there. So I've seen uh, three different Wimbies now. Keep those babies together. We like a Phoenix Wemby base and another fade to black. It's hard to find somebody that does as well with card values as Wemby does. I mean, base cards at one time any base card could be worth some some decent little money whereas some guys base cards are worth a nickel you know carl towns on the refractor and we got draymond green and as far as i know these are the the retail phoenix products mega and Blaster, Michael Porter Jr. and Tatum on the Paragon. So I will probably be fulfilled on Phoenix after this, even if I see them in the stores. Probably gonna try and resist Julius Randall. I say that, but I am a sucker. By the way, uh, had three score fat packs yesterday and I didn't really want to make a whole video just about three fat packs so I just did shorts but uh, I pulled a pretty nice little numbered card uh, so like numbered cards are possible in the score fat packs how about Keontae instant phenom all right Box two, a little more standard box, but we got a Wemby. Let's check out box three. And then I got one score hobby, hobby box pack. I just bought one pack at my local card shop. They'll do that. They'll open hobby boxes and sell individual packs. They're kind of pricey for one pack, but I pulled a case hit out of the one pack that I chose. So we had a whole box there, unless there's two case hits in it. I just picked a random pack out of it, and I got a case hit. Probably I, I got the best card out of that box. Drake May action. I keep talking about that card, but it's, it's such a weird card. I love it. Leonard Miller. On the scale of how easy these are to open, sorry about that. I'd say these are pretty easy cards. Maxwell Lewis, got something different here, maybe. Nice, and the Rashid Wallace. Numbered there, I knew it. That is out of 275, not even too, too high numbered. Very cool for the Pistons fan out there. Make sure you check these cards. A lot of them are numbered that you, look, they're in the bottom. Jason Wallace, rookie, that is out of one, 275. You just get two numbered cards in one pack. Man, not bad, huh? Not bad, these blasters. I just jumped right to the bottom there. Wow. I don't know, guys. There have been bad reviews on these, but... I, I cannot give this a bad review. I would not, I would be dishonest if I said that these blasters don't have some heaters in them. And gives Phoenix some credit. Phoenix is a nicer car. It's a nicer stock. It's got the chrome look. It's got cool parallels and inserts. Jordan Walsh. How about Paolo? 
And that one is kind of like, those cards are really nice. It's kind of like a teal, light bluish color. I like it. Jimmy Butler on the Paragon. Two to go. Coming up, we'll see what comes in the mail. I'm forever hunting Costco bundles and Sam's Club bundles, if that's what they're called. Seeing what's on the shelves in the stores. Nothing in that one. And I have a few pre-orders out there floating around. It's kind of fun sometimes you pre-order something way in advance and then you forget and then one day it just shows up. It's fun. Podzemski rookie. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another one of those teals. I told you these teals excite me. How about Ant-Man on that? Nice. Nice looking card. I like all year Ant-Mans. I will take all the years. And Tumani on the Instant Phenom. Okay, so in review, this is our stack of inserts, parallels, rookies. And we got a few numbered cards. We got this Case and Wallace, Instant Phenom, out of 275. We got this rookie. And we got this Rashid Wallace. That one is also 275. OMB base. And the real heater here, the heater, the MVP. This Wemby. Paragon. Out of 150. I mean, an even relatively low numbered Wemby is pretty lucky. I've opened a lot of stuff and I have pulled great Wembys, but I, I don't think I've pulled many, many at all uh, numbered cards by him. So very cool on the white Paragon. Love it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all of you who subscribe. If you don't subscribe, please consider joining. Keep this channel moving and grooving. Have another giveaway coming up soon. I do them regularly, and I appreciate y'all who participate. It's fun sharing the hobby with you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.